how to multiply numbers in Excel. So again, uh, just like we did in our adding and subtracting videos, I've got my table set up right here. I've got data that I've entered in column A, and we're gonna do our calculations over in column C. Also, like adding and subtracting, there are at least two different ways to do this. The main two ways being to either use the mathematical operator, uh, which is gonna be your star uh, right there, which is shift eight, or an asterisk. That's gonna be the multiply operator, and then the other way is gonna be with the product function. So the first way I'll show you, we're gonna hit our equal sign as always, and then we can either click or type a cell in. So that's A1, and I'm gonna hit times, that's shift eight. I'm just gonna type A2 times A3 times A4 times A5. And then I'm gonna click, or I'm gonna hit enter, and that's gonna give me the product or all of these numbers multiplied together. So that's 120. Like I said, the other way to do it is to use the product function. Uh, that's the way I prefer, but whatever works for you. And you may find yourself using the two different ways to do it, depending on the scenario. So it equals product, just like that. And you're gonna see the suggestion down here. It's very useful. You're gonna open parentheses, and then this is gonna tell you what it's expecting to see. So it's expecting to see the numbers separated by a comma, and we're just gonna drag. Uh, again, we could, we could type that in, or you can just drag whatever works for you. Close parentheses, hit enter, and you've got the same result with two different ways of going about it. Again, both of these are gonna be live, so if you change one of these numbers, it's gonna change with it, and so everything stays up to date. And that's how you multiply numbers in Excel. If you appreciate this video, like it, uh, drop a comment, let me know what else you'd like to see, and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.